Hello everybody, and welcome back to my office. What you see before you is the Atomstack X20 Pro laser engraver. Stepping it up a little bit, doubling the power. I'm looking forward to checking this baby out. And for transparency's sake, as I open this up, you need to know that I received this for free. Well, with one request, and that is to do a uh, video review of the product. An honest review. No pressure at all from the company. They're happy to send it to me and confident in their product. It's a cutting mat. That was something I hadn't received in any other laser. That was a, uh, a base, a metallic base for protecting your work surface. It's a very detailed color photo. It's a high quality manual. And there is an app for this product. And this laser does come with its own air assist, which is very nice. So looking at the packaging, once again, it's packed in there nice and tight in some very uh, firm yet spongy foam protection and that's good because this box took some damage a crunched up corner there I was a little concerned when I first saw it but once I opened this up it was easy to tell that everything in here was well protected it didn't shift at all when it got dropped and that's a good thing everything unboxed this is what we have interestingly each little packet there follows in line with the steps in the instruction manual. That makes it really handy. That's uh, some nice attention to detail that I very much appreciate. And that's the uh, F2 honeycomb uh, working board uh, with fixtures. Those allow you to hold down your workpiece so it doesn't slide around. Plus those little uh, uh, blue and green caps there. They're magnetic. And this came with another metallic base which slides underneath the honeycomb uh, board again to protect your work surface. And there it is all put together. Took about an hour. That's because I put the honeycomb board together and I put the air assist on there as well. So that's the power button right there. Just to the right is the reset button, and over on the left is the emergency uh, stop button. What I'm going to do now is the first project, and I'm going to use this uh, little file interface, um, the 2 millimeter plywood dog. We'll see what this thing's all about. I suspect two millimeters is uh, nothing for this machine. Still, it'll be interesting to see. This is a provided piece. Came with the machine. Two millimeter basswood. Now here I'm just turning up the air assist because I'm cutting. That eliminates the scorch marks. That interface is very easy to use. Uh, no issues there at all. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let this run here in real time just so you can get a good feel for it. And while it's cutting out this little dog, I'll tell you a little bit about the machine. And this is all going to be in the video description as well. So this machine is a 130 watt machine power. It's got a 20 watt laser output. And that 20 watts is achieved by coupling four 6 watt lasers inside that laser head there. 
Is that what that's called? Anyways, uh, four 6-watt lasers. They're all coupled together using optical mirrors. Producing a pretty powerful beam there. And there's just a closer look at the interface. It's, uh, there you go, it was reading out the percentages of completion. And there it just showed complete. And here's the little dog. Nice clean cut. Focus, there we go. Not bad. So one of the uh, selling points was that this would cut a 12 to 15 millimeter board in one pass. So I had to try that out. This is a 12 meter, uh, millimeter board, pine. Very clear pine, not a lot of grain to it. Look at that. One pass. So something you may not know about me is uh, I'm not a very techie type of guy. <laughs> I can take apart an internal combustion engine, no problem, put it back together. Uh, I can fix a lathe. But I've got enough self-confidence to approach these lasers and uh, get a fairly good result from them. And I'm just saying that because that's really all you need. Just have a little bit of self-confidence if you, if you have any doubts about using one of these machines. I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but one of the things that I find very appealing about this machine is the higher speeds uh, with a lot of power remaining if you need it to get these jobs done. Like this glass etching, I'm only using 50% power going at 1000 millimeters per minute and it's doing a great job. And by the way, that's a, a flat green paint. It calls for black. Black's probably better. I don't know. Didn't have any. Just using what I have on hand. And uh, yeah, the green works fine. You see the results here in a second. A little bit of uh, dish soap and a steel wool takes that right off. Pretty clean results there, right? Look pretty good. So here's something interesting. Stainless steel. I had some primer. I used that uh, on this blade. and Although the etching looked light in color it was actually dark in comparison with the stainless steel i love this result nice and this is the r3 rotary roller pro that they also sent me and right off the bat the packaging is outstanding uh, the four pieces that right there uh, those are leg extenders for the laser engraver because when you put this rotary roller in there, you need the, uh, the whole machine raised up a little bit. And I used some of my bench cookies uh, from my wood shop to get it even a little bit higher because I'm going to be uh, engraving a fairly good sized jar. So using the program, uh, I first centered it, and now I'm framing it. And the painter's tape was just going to be a practice run. It's a little trick I've seen. Uh, 
And it's set uh, to 1,000 speed and 50% power. And you'll see the results. They were uh, a little bit surprising, if not even a little bit disturbing. Well, I had to show that whole thing because it was kind of interesting, but oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I couldn't believe I did that. I didn't stand there and watch it the whole time. I, I just kind of thought it was going to do the practice run. I'd peel it off and then spray paint it and, uh, you know, get the etching going. Yep. Well, I took it to the sink and I scrubbed it off and looky there, it actually turned out great. Okay, well the next thing I want to show you is the Atom Stack Laser Engraver app. And I'm just going to engrave a photo. That's little Lulu. Look at that little darling. Little Lulu. Anyways, I'm going to engrave her onto a piece of basswood. Uh, it's my first time using this app, so hopefully it'll turn out. Uh, wasn't really sure where to set everything there, but I gave it a, a good guess. And there the, the phone is connected directly to the uh, X20 Pro. And we're going to see how Lulu turns out. And you can see there on the app that it's reading off the completion percentage. And then we'll jump to the end here. And you can see that the detail isn't great, but that's my fault because I didn't program it correctly. I'll get to know the machine as I use it more and uh, get a hold on those details. The grayscale quality of this machine. There's 256 levels. So this type of picture, that'll come out nice eventually. But here's a look at everything that I did. Some deep cuts, some very fine details, different shades of gray there. Looking good. The jars turned out fantastic. Very frosty engraving in the stainless steel. Oh my. Love that. So make sure you check out the video description for more detailed commentary and product information. And also you're going to find the store links, the product links, and uh, discount codes for each of the items that you've seen in this video. I appreciate you watching, everybody. Until next time, God bless and Semper Fi.